higher, a little bit higher. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs>Hi, friends. I'm Ren Mardia. And I'm Sean. And we are. Wait. Did you just see what I saw? I don't believe I did. Okay. Uh, here on The, the Nine, Nine Outline. Outline. First up, today at 1 30 p.m., we've got uh, an episode of Cook's Country. I'm really excited about it because it's the perfect cake, and they're going to tell us how to make the perfect. Gooey butter cake. Ooh, I love yeah. gooey butter cake. Obviously, as St. Louisans to the core, we are obsessed with gooey butter cake. But one thing that I have noticed is that anybody who's not from here who tries to make it does it wrong. So they'll use like a cake mix for like a pressed down crust, but it's originally like a yeast crust. So I'm hoping they do it right on Cook's Country. I'm sure they will. I have faith in them. Um, but there's also an, a, a recipe for a blueberry jam cake. Ooh. Sounds fantastic. And all they're of gonna, the cakes. I will just take all of the yeah, cakes. Yeah, I just like cake. And they're going to review a bunch of really cool toasters, which Ooh. if you like gadgets and gizmos, why not? So Saturday, today, 1.30 p.m., Cook's Country, the perfect cake is on. Where do you think the best place is to get gray butter in St. Louis? Oh, Park Avenue Coffee. That, like, Ann and Allen, whatever that brand is, I love yeah. it. They have, like, 18 different there. flavors. <laughs> Sound off. If you have somewhere that you like to get a uh, gooey butter cake from, tell us in the comments below. We'd love to hear it, because I'm always looking for new places to buy cake. And I'm going to shut that place down by eating all of it. <laughs> and you're going to arrive, and it'll be sold out. Sorry, not sorry. When a, like, <laughs> like it's like a liquid, uh, did she say a liquid animal? Because like, I was going to say that, and I couldn't remember. Like, she's like, it's like if the animals yeah. were made of goo. Like, like he was like, I... Look at him. What's your first thought when you hear weasel? Pop goes a weasel. Okay. I'm glad that you said that because in the trailer for Nature, the Mighty Weasel, that song definitely plays, but in a very ominous minor tune. It's manner. But okay, creepy. so unfortunately, weasels get a bad rep. Okay, they're always portrayed as like this villainous, like I'm gonna rob you. I'm gonna, you know, like badgers. They get bad reps. Like oh god. Ferrets. Okay, but. Look at them. Look at that face. Do you think that that's a villain? Is that the face of a villain? Cutie. Tune in this Wednesday to find out, like, all of the behaviors of weasels. You know, they get a bad rep. They're misunderstood. So let's try to properly understand a family of weasels. By the end of the episode, I bet our minds will be changed. This, ladies and gentlemen, is no villain. So tune in this Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Nature, the Mighty Weasel. It's, it's, and not it's not bad. It's not her. The writing is bad. It's, it's not it's a bad. bad. It's a bad. It's a bad. Script. I don't think it's a bad. I don't think it's a bad. Well, guys, it is our absolute favorite time of the episode, and I just also real quick, I have a question for you sure. though. Do you believe in dinosaurs? Well, as a matter of fact, I do, and that's why I'll be watching Independent Lens. We believe in dinosaurs this Monday at 10 p.m. It's a documentary, actually won Best Documentary at the St. Louis International Film Festival, Ooh. so you know it's good. Um, but it's a documentary all about the Creation Museum and like a Noah's Ark inspired theme park in Kentucky. Um, I know I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but I'm really into evolutionary biology, so Ooh, I'll probably that is be his like, thing. yeah, I'll probably be rage watching this one. And it's really, really insist that people and dinosaurs lived at the same time, which. They didn't. I mean, um, I, can you imagine if dinosaurs just were, were walking around right here as we're like hosting the show? It would be crazy. I couldn't imagine anything like it, but just roaming around, like, you know, if, if you want to imagine dinosaurs and learn to believe in them, then you should be watching We Believe in Dinosaurs this Monday at 10 p.m. It's an independent lens and it is so good. I'm gonna watch that and then I'm gonna watch Jurassic Park. Alexa, tell us about Ermardia's host pick. And Marty's host pick is <laughs> Frontline, the rise and reign of Jeff, Jeff Bezos, okay? It is this Tuesday at 8 p.m. I can't believe how much Amazon has impacted my life, your life, probably your life too, and your life and your life, all of our lives, okay? I drove to work listening to Amazon Music. Amazon Prime ships all my packages. I mean, Amazon makes all the great TV shows and movies now. They're everywhere, okay? Jeff Bezos is... A genius, some might say. But Frontline also investigates like what makes Amazon so great. 
maybe something that also is to be really worried and feared about Amazon that's, also. That's more where I am. So they're <laughs> very controversial. Um, and so they'll dive into the innovation of Amazon, but also the work ethic of Amazon and the way that, you know, with workers and so you've probably all heard it in the news. So I don't say anything new, but Frontline will tell you everything about it. So tune in this Tuesday night, Rise and Reign of Jeff Bezos at 8 p.m. Jesus on blast, y'all. Well, everybody, we've had so much fun this episode. I'm Sean. And I'm Ern Mardia. We'll see you next week on another brand new episode of The, the Nine, Nine Outline. Outline. My Ninosaurs. Roar! That is so good. That's you, your baby Ninosaurs. We thank you. Jingle, <laughs> jingle, baby.